WZ Interviewing Tip, presented by the International Association of Interviewers. I'm Wayne Hoover, Executive Director of II and partner with WZ. In the last tips, we have defined the enticement question and discussed the proper format in constructing this type of question. This tip, I would like to remind you of the many different uses for the enticement question. The enticement question can be used as an accusation. Typically, we use this as a transition from the selective interview into an accusatory interview. The enticement question can also be used as a way to break the cycle of denials. If the subject keeps denying, you may elect to ask the enticement question as a way to gain credibility in the investigation and to stop the denials from occurring. Finally, the enticement question can be used as a useful tool for development. This is my personal favorite. A person says they've admitted to everything they have done, and you ask, is there any reason the investigation shows that it's more than you're currently telling me? Now, when using the enticement question, it's recommended you choose when and how you use the question very carefully. We want to make sure the question is used in a way that helps identify the true status of the person being interviewed. Also, take great care in using the question in the proper format, as we mentioned in the previous tip. Thanks for tuning in to II's interviewing tip. We look forward to seeing you again soon. To learn more or register for a seminar, contact Wicklander Zalowski & Associates today.